We must stop Kabosh before he gains too much power. It's not too late. Not yet. We still have a chance. But how can I help? I'm such a small ghost. What about all the other ghosts? There must be someone. Captured. Controlled by Kabosh or imprisoned. You're the last, Casper. There are no others. But Wendy, I'm not a hero. I don't even know how to scare people. Casper, you're all that is left. If you don't help, we're all doomed. Gosh, Wendy. I guess when you put it like that, I don't have much of a choice, huh? Great. There are a few things you should know before you get started. Casper, you have many powers. Your spirit blast will help you defeat Kabasha's ghostly minion. Your comet power gives you a burst of speed. However, it doesn't last very long. Use your ethereal shield to avoid attacks and go through barred walls. By moving sideways, you can avoid many enemies. That's the basics. So what do I do now? How do I stop Kabosh? The first thing to do is free the spirit dimensions Kabosh has taken over. This house is a strong link to the spirit worlds. I can open the gateways from here. I see. However, Kabosh has blocked the entrances to most of the dimensions. So I can't help then. I can't even get to the dimensions. All is not lost. There is one dimension that we can still get to. Here, the gateway to the first world lies within one of these doorways. You might want to practice flying around the house a bit before you head into the first world. Meet me when you're ready to begin your journey. 